Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for December 5th. This is for all signs. I just, I wanted to mention something before I started this video. I have, I have a couple people copying me, and I, w I just wanted to bring this up. Uh, copying another person is not going to bring you success, especially when doing a channel. The most successful YouTubers come up with their own shit. So if you happen to see another reader copying another reader, call them out on it. Let them know that they're not being authentic. Let them know that they're not going to be successful by copying another reader. The most successful readers follow their own path without trying to steal another person's ideas. So just really keep that in mind. If you see another reader copying, um, call them out. Call them out on it. And, and it's, it's simple. So I do the daily vibes. I have a lot of other readers that have started doing daily readings. Well, not I have. We have started doing daily readings. One has named it the Daily Fix. Awesome. Great. Another one has named it the Daily Release. Perfect. Another one, the Daily Energy. One was the Daily Dose. I could have copied somebody. I didn't because it's not the respectful thing to do. It's not the authentic thing to do. It's not the right thing to do. So when you see somebody being doing those kinds of things call them out on it because it's it's simply lazy they don't they're not creative they're trying to steal another person's ideas to make money they're not being authentic and they don't care who they hurt at that point so when you come across somebody that is copying another person call them out to be successful you have to be authentic and get creative. It's called, you know, it's, it's what's it called? Being a creator on YouTube, being a creator. It's being your own creator, not copying another person. It's laziness. Now we're gonna get started with the reading. So, December 5th, I thank you guys for all of the support. I've worked hard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. December 5th, energy. For December 5th, what do we have? Ooh, excitement. Something very exciting, passionate, communication coming in, something happening very quickly. Um, sparks could be flying and hitting their target. The bubble is being burst. There's no need to, you can't really protect yourself. It's like you're breaking free. The bubble is being popped. If you were trying to protect yourself, it's like you can't anymore. You can't. You can't protect yourself from this anymore because there's just too much. Well, this is these are these are swords of passion, right? There's too much passion. There's too much. It's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. The feeling is overwhelming. It looks like there's some sort of offer of love, unconditional love, perhaps. These are the rods of love, and this is love. But this is a not, this is like a lost opportunity. So a lost opportunity is actually a blessing in disguise. There's no need to protect yourself from this lost opportunity anymore. There's no need. Don't let that lost opportunity um, hold you back from love, okay? Because that lost opportunity was a blessing in disguise. Ooh, 
Ten of Cups. This whatever is happening is leading to extreme happiness here. Abundance, security, and this could lead to something really long term. Really long term, like a marriage or commitment or something beautiful, okay? Ten of Cups. So yeah, something had to end that wasn't stable so that you could get this because this is a completion. So there's a beginning, a new beginning here, and it's happening quick, really quick. Passionate, a passion, because this is these words of passion, right? A passionate love connection that could lead to something long term. A new relationship, perhaps. Now, this was the release. Remember, this is this is the release of that despair, release of the anguish, release of the depression, because something is it's the change. Right now, things are changing, and they're changing very fast. And the eight to the nine, it's like there's no more. The eight to the nine of swords, both reversed. There's no more mental conflict. There's no more mental turmoil. It's being released. And it's being replaced with passion. So torment being replaced with passion or depression being replaced with excitement. It's like there's a shift. Oh, yes, there's another opportunity for love. The five of cups reversed. Yeah, we have a new opportunity for love. Absolutely. There's another offer here. There's no, And you can't really protect yourself from it because it's so bright. This offer, whatever's happening, is so real that you can't you really can't stay in your bubble anymore it's time to break free of the past whatever it was that slipped away didn't have any potential for growth it did not it didn't there was no um confidence that it was ever going to work There's no passion there. It wasn't a desirable situation anyway. Wherever wherever it was that you had to release, which is gone, which is being released. It was too discontent. And you were wanting more anyway. And I think you've been dreaming about love and dreaming about that relationship. And now it's here. Now it's here. What you've been thinking about and what you've been dreaming of and what you've been wanting is here. That's what I see. <laughs> yeah, and there's a, there's a strong uh, temptation to just leap, right? Um, there's a magnetic attraction here. And this could be a karmic situation. It really could. But either way, it's as though there's two people coming together that are <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely attracted to each other. There's no doubt about it. But it could lead to happiness. It could. I don't know. This is definitely a connection that is undeniable. So yeah, we have an undeniable connection here. You know, and this, there's a toxic situation as well that is being, you'll see what's mirroring each other. This could be a toxic situation that is being released so that we can find happiness with the new connection. Whatever this is. There's a new connection here. There is. There's a new offer of love with the Five of Cups reverse. There's, there's a new opportunity for love. It's like no longer holding on to the regrets. No longer holding on to the guilt. No longer holding on to the fears. It's like, you know what, I'm, I'm ready for this love. Seriously, somebody's ready for this love. Their heart is open and it is absolutely here. If somebody is releasing, if they're releasing, absolutely, these nines, nine of wands, releasing the... Mm. 
need to hold on to this toxic situation that they were holding on to that held them back from a from a new relationship there's one relationship that is absolutely positively being released because we have a new one we have a new one coming in this one's being released the toxic toxic one is being released completely release 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 the toxic situation breaking free and this is the bubble coming out of the but the bubble being burst this what this is breaking free and this is breaking free so we have somebody that is breaking free from a situation that was no that's done you know there's no nothing solid about it there's nothing in it anymore you can't it's nothing it's gone this opportunity is gone and now somebody else is charging into your life like wildfire. Seriously. <laughs> but before they could actually enter your life, there was one spark that had one that had to be put out. Okay? So there's one flame that needed to be distinguished or is that what it is? Distinguished. Put out. So that this new opportunity could be accepted. So I believe that somebody is finding the courage to put out some sort of fire with whoever it was that held them back. You know, feeling guilty, feeling anxious, feeling depressed, feeling sad and lonely over somebody that... <laughs> The spark has been gone for a while now. The spark has been gone. There was no solid opportunity there. Somebody has made the decision to release because there's new, there's a new uh, fast moving partnership entering the scene. Yeah, reality check. Somebody is coming to grips with the reality of the situation. I accept the reality, no longer confused, no longer living a fantasy, no longer living in illusion, accepting the truth that some partnership is done, it's over. And I see it, I'm good, I'm great, awesome, and there's a new one, there is absolutely a new one. So... Somebody has been trying to protect themselves and from new love by burying themselves in their job, burying themselves in everything but love. But all of a sudden, the there's this new connection with somebody. There's this new connection with somebody that has relit their fire within them. So they're just releasing. Just releasing. And happiness is imminent. Extreme happiness. It's like all of a sudden we have, the, like I said, there's fire around this. The fire has been lit. Now there's now there's an opportunity for extreme happiness with somebody because they don't want to miss opportunity. I don't want to be alone. I, I want this. Re I want love. After living in illusion for quite some time, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone anymore. So somebody, you know, has decided that they don't want to be alone. They're done living in this midlife crisis mode. They've been isolated. They've isolated themselves long enough, and I'm ready for happiness. And they've met somebody. They have absolutely met somebody. And they want they want to receive. You know, they want to receive. I don't I don't want to be stagnant anymore. I want to receive. I want I want to receive. Staying stuck to this situation that isn't stable and solid hasn't given them any joy, you know? Being isolated, being on their own hasn't fulfilled them at all, but now they've had some sort of growth, some sort of rebirth, okay? And now we have a new suitor that has entered the scene. Like I said, this is somebody who is better suited for you. This is what's happened here. We have somebody that has entered and it's exciting and there's it's very exciting. So there's an exciting new path or opportunity that has opened up and relit, relit the uh, fire within. Absolutely. 
And now that there's somebody is crossing that bridge into the unknown. That's what it looks like to me. I'm crossing the bridge, leaving the past behind. I've made the decision that I'm moving forward to this passionate new partnership. So somebody has made a decision to let go of the past and accept new love with um, open arms, with open arms. So it looks to me like we have an opportunity for a new relationship as somebody is totally and completely crossing that bridge and making a decision to no longer isolate themselves and accept a new opportunity for love. Not gonna put myself in a bubble. I'm not going to protect myself anymore. I'm about ready to fly into a new relationship. So somebody is moving very quickly. This is the rods of love as well. They're very quickly getting into a new relationship. That's what I see. And what's happening here is they're releasing a karmic toxic one. Is it because that's what this is? You make the decision to end and begin. End and so yeah. The past is dead. I have a new beginning. The end. Somebody has made the decision after living in some sort of illusion, fantasy land. No more. No more. I choose the new path. I choose the exciting new path. And it is very, very exciting. So somebody is releasing a karmic, toxic situation for good. Let's get a couple of these and see what comes up. Wedding? This could lead to marriage? Absolutely, it could. I'm not going to take that one. So, or there's been a, there's there's a divorce that somebody has hung on to, whatever. Wedding definitely plays a part. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Somebody has held back from expressing love because of the past and it's over. It's over. Absolutely. Go ahead, express yourself. Another card. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I told you this is exactly what's happening. Somebody is breaking free, taking back control, and falling in love. Let's get one of these. We have all the signs here, so... December 5th, decision is being made to cross that bridge, to go through that new door after somebody breaks free from a toxic situation that kept them trapped, wanting to protect themselves and bury themselves in everything but love. But now there's this connection in which the rods of love have hit them and it can't be denied. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. There's a bubble. It's time to step, step outside of your bubble. Let somebody love you. The time is now to fall in love. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love makes the difference, and love is here. Embrace it. So yeah, it's a day of falling in love. Enjoy. <laughs>